overwhelmed so easily My anxiety creeps inside of me Makes it hard to breathe What's come over me Feels like I'm somebody else So just don't get overwhelmed Then you'll make it out Then you'll be just fine I promise you don't have to worry about a thing Get my happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that a happy. Oh, the happy dog. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy dog. Get my happy. Now look at me My actions are unbeautiful It's clear to see Come on and strip out of the cage I'm trying to change the page I'll take my place I used to be so Yeah 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 Gone on you with the pick and roll Okay, oh, 
okay. Uh. Nice guys always finish last, should've known that. Gave you my heart and you fucked around and broke that. So sad. Pretty girls are hurt you so bad. Girl, you play me, did me so shady. Got me in my feelings I can't trust lately. You so lame, took me as a game. Say guys are dogs, well, all girls the same. Come on where you at, you better have my back. Cause you know damn well I didn't deserve that. Oh, I'm finna lose, it got me looking stupid. From now on, I'ma be ruthless. Oh, 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 Better. All right, somebody actually requested this before. So who's my mom from Marvel Quicksilver? Okay, I guess my mom pulled a fast one. <laughs> who's my dad? Silver Surfer. What the frick? So my parents are surfers. This is amazing. I'm going to be doing some great moves in the sea. Oh, I'm expecting myself to be able to swim and surf. Okay, who am I? I'm I'm handicapped. I can't do anything. That is okay. <laughs> great. <laughs> Well, oh, just my luck. This is turning out great. Who's my brother, then? Human Torch. My brother's on fire and my family doesn't care. <laughs> great. No, maybe my sister will be lovely and beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. Or my sister's completely green and ugly. Maybe my lover's going to be able to walk or, you know, also in a wheelchair, maybe. Or it could be Deadpool because, you know, Deadpool freaking rocks all the time. Who is my sworn enemy? Oh, God. What do you got against with me being in a wheelchair, you muscle-bound freak with the, nothing but patches in your freaking? Uh, your All right, somebody actually requested this before. So who's my? This is the ticket. I love using my pretty card. I don't need to worry about. Free a little boy would wave to this cop every single day and one day something so insane happened and you will never believe it. Thomas was a five-year-old boy who would wave to the cop outside of his neighborhood every day. The old man would pass by, smile at Thomas, and drive away. In fact, nobody else in this town would wave to any of the cops. And while they were all too busy protesting, Thomas was the only person in town who showed any remorse for the cop. So the cop would purposefully drive by Thomas's house just to see him wave at him. Every day this continued on for over two years. But then one day when the cop was driving back, he noticed that Thomas wasn't there. This was the first time Thomas had disappeared in over two years and the cop began to get very worried. He immediately barged into Thomas's house and ran around looking for Thomas. He then noticed that the door was open but nobody was inside. And that's when he took a closer look at Thomas's bed and noticed something very strange. And you will never believe what it was. If you want to know what happens next, then follow for part two. Thanks for watching. A little boy. Boy would wave to this cop every single day and one day something so insane happened and you will never believe it. Thomas was a five-year-old boy who would wave to the cop outside of his neighborhood. Every day. Here is why you should never- Here is why you should never leave your house alone at night. Tina was a young woman who lived alone in the suburbs of New York. Every single day she would come home from work late at night and sleep in her house only to go to work the next day. However, one night when she got back home she received a strange text message and it appeared as if it was from a friend. So Tina took a closer look and realized that it was her friend Elizabeth who had invited her to come to the park late at night. Although it was a little strange, Tina decided she was going to go because she was super bored at home. So she put on her jacket because it was a little cold outside and she left her house to go see Elizabeth. After a cold 10 minute walk, Tina finally reached the park bench. So she decided to sit down and waited for her friend Elizabeth to come to the park. But then Tina noticed something very strange on her phone. She clicked Elizabeth's contact but realized that the number didn't match her friend's actual number. She then realized that somebody had faked Elizabeth's number and that someone had lured her out of her house. What happens next will shock you. Follow for part two. Here is why you should never leave your- Here is why you should never leave your house alone at night. Part two. 
Tina immediately started to notice something strange when she realized Elizabeth's real number wasn't the number that had texted her. In fact, this number just had the contact name of Elizabeth, but she realized that her real friend was sleeping at home. Now getting super worried, Tina decided to call up the police and told them someone had lured her out of her house. But just then, Tina turned around and something crazy happened. But before I tell you what it was, I just found an app that lets you change other people's text messages. Click the link in my bio so you can try too. Anyways, Tina noticed that a strange man had been following her for the last five minutes. At this point, she decided to run as fast as she could, but the man started running after her. Finally, when all hope was lost, Tina decided to stop running, but realized that a police officer was nearby. Luckily, the police officer captured the man, sent him to jail, and Tina never left her house alone at night ever again. Here is why you should never leave your house alone. Here is why you should never leave. Here are three crazy body hacks that you probably wish you knew earlier. Number one, if you have a sneeze coming but it just won't come out, what you want to do is put your head a little up and stare at a bright light. This will automatically trigger your sneeze and you will sneeze. Speaking of sneezes, if you want to ever hold your sneeze in, then what you want to do is press your tongue against the roof of your mouth and don't look up whatever you do. Instead, you want to tilt your head a little bit down and keep pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth and you won't sneeze. Number two, if you ever have trouble hearing what somebody is saying, then what you want to do is lean in with your right ear. Your right ear is better at picking up human voices so you can tilt in with your right ear and hear better. On the other hand, if you can't hear a musical note or if there's a song playing and you can't really hear it, then you want to lean in with your left ear because it is better at picking up melodious sounds. And finally, number three, you know that feeling when your arm falls asleep and it feels really tingly? To make that go away, just rock your head back and forth. Follow for more. Here are three crazy. This boy was having severe ear pain, but when the doctor looked inside his this boy started having severe ear pain, but when the doctor looked inside his ear, he was shocked, and you will never believe why. Jason was a seven-year-old boy who would constantly hang out with his friends and do fun stuff. But to all his friends, he was known as a risk taker because he would do things that normally kids wouldn't do. One day, one of Jason's friend dared him to put a pencil inside his ear, so Jason took a small pencil and put it into his ear. His friends then asked him how far he could shove the pencil inside his ear, so Jason decided to give it a try and pushed it all the way up his ear. But after he did this, the pencil went straight up into his ear and Jason immediately started crying. He wasn't able to get the pencil out and his ear hurt so badly. So his parents rushed him to the hospitals when the doctor took a look and realized something very strange about his ear. The doctor decided to use tweezers and stuck it up Jason's ear and tried to pull something out. But what the doctor found next will absolutely shock you. Follow for part two. This, this boy was having severe ear pain, but when the doctor looked inside his ear, he was shocked and you will never believe why, part two. The doctor immediately put some tweezers into James's ear and what he found next would shock him. But before you know what it is, I just found the coolest app that lets you change people's text messages. The link's in my bio so you can change other people's text messages too. Anyways, the doctor noticed that there was actually a leech living inside James's ear. And the reason the pencil went up his ear is because the leech reached for it and pulled it inside. So the doctor was successfully able to take out the pencil and the leech from James's ear and he felt much better. This boy was having severe ear. This father asked his son a question while playing. This father asked his son a question while he was playing video games and the son wouldn't answer so you won't believe what the father did next. Lucas was a 16 year old boy who loved playing video games. Every single night he would go on his PlayStation and play Fortnite for hours on end. However, one day while he was playing the game, his father asked him a question and told Lucas to get him some water. But because Lucas had his mic set on, he didn't hear what his father had said. Now getting super angry, his father asked him one more time to go get water or else the consequences would be horrible. And just at that time, Lucas's father got a call that he had lost his job. At this point, Lucas's father was so angry that he asked his son one last time. But once again, because Lucas was playing on his headset, his father got no response. And then his father decided to do something so crazy. He ripped off Lucas's headset, picked him up, and took him up to the stairs to his room. You won't believe what happens next. Follow for part two. 
This father, this father asked his son a question while playing video games and the son wouldn't answer so you won't believe what the father did next, part 2. Now super angry with Lucas, his father immediately talked to Lucas and then did something crazy. He dragged him up the stairs and then something shocking happened. But before I tell you what it was, I found the coolest app that lets you change other people's text messages. So hurry and click the link in my bio so you can try it too. Anyways, Lucas's dad dragged him up to the bedroom upstairs and locked him there. He left his son in the bedroom for five days with no food and no water. Unfortunately, because of this, his son had passed into a coma and Lucas's father was immediately jailed. His dad was then immediately sentenced to years in prison. Guys, never let anger get the best of you. This father asked his son a question while playing video games and this father asked his son a question. Here are four crazy body hacks that you probably never knew before. Number one, if you ever wanna memorize a speech really fast, then what you wanna do is read it right before you go to bed. That way the next morning your brain is gonna pick it up and you're gonna memorize it much faster. Number two, if you have trouble sleeping fast, then what you wanna do is blink your eyes really fast 20 times in a row. This will automatically tire them out and your brain will start sending signals to your body that it should fall asleep. Number three, ending a shower with cold water helps acne go away. It'll open up the pores and the acne won't come out. And finally, number four, if you ever have a throbbing migraine, what you wanna do is stick your hands inside freezing cold ice water. Once your hands are inside, start flexing them and soon your headache will start to go away. For more crazy facts, follow my page. Thanks for watching. Here are four crazy bo- After 15 entire years, this man woke up from a coma, but it was what he did after that will shock you, part two. Soon doc- After 15 entire years, this man woke up from a coma, but it was what he did after that will shock you. Damien was a 37 year old man who had gotten into a car accident and was immediately rushed to the hospital afterwards. And for the next 15 years, Damien's parents hoped that he would wake up from the coma that he was in. And one day, something so shocking happened after 15 whole years of spending time inside the hospital. One day, Damien woke up and started screaming loud noises. All of the doctors and nurses rushed towards him, but he started acting very weird. Initially, they thought he was just scared, but soon the doctors and nurses started to realize something very strange. But little did they know that Damien could hear everything that they were saying and he had a plan to do something crazy. Because just a few minutes after, something very shocking happened in that hospital room. If you want to know what happens next, then follow for part 2. After 15 entire years, this man woke up from a coma, but it was what he did after that will shock you, part 2. Soon, doctors and nurses realized that there was something very wrong with Damien. He started screaming weird noises and making weird faces. Everybody around him was very worried, but little did they know that something crazy was going on in Damien's head. But before I tell you what it was, I found an app that lets you change other people's text messages. And the link's in my bio so you can try it too. Anyways, Damien told everybody that he claimed he could time travel. He started to have weird thoughts in his head about time traveling and so he went into the future and saw what had happened. And in the future, apparently Damien's doctor had tried to kill him. So because of this, Damien plotted revenge and immediately took out his doctor before his doctor could kill him. Unfortunately, Damien was then sent to prison. After 15 entire years, this man woke up from a coma, but it